Uh, the Wells call is uh, finished, I believe. It has and just Wilfred, finished. Wilfred Frost is here to tell us what they said. Yes, so the, the main headline is there's no promise or change in guidance, which doesn't exist in terms of when they're going to get the Fed asset cap lifted, though they did say there are things you can do with a permanent CEO that you can't do with an interim CEO, which was sort of uh, in answer to that particular question. Uh, wouldn't give any color, Charlie Scharf, in terms of any strategic updates that he may or, or may not be giving soon, even though his start date, remember, guys, is very soon, 22nd. Uh, of October. The analysts on the call seem pleased with the appointment, as they have done in some calls I've had with them so far. And Charlie Scharf talked through his broad experience, uh, whether that was JP Morgan, Bank of New York Mellon, or Visa, as to why he is qualified uh, for this particular job. I also, guys, just got a quote from Jamie Dimon on this uh, appointment. Of course, Scharf uh, had over a decade uh, at uh, JP Morgan uh, before Visa and BMY Mellon. And Jamie Dimon said, Charlie's an excellent choice for this important role. He has great experience, a high character. He is a first class leader. The interesting thing about this particular role is the first time one of Jamie's, uh, Jim, Mr. Dimon's former uh, employees has become a direct competitor. Uh, when Scharf left the visa, he was more of a partner to JP Morgan than a competitor. But Bank of New York Mellon, somewhere in between. Uh, Jeff Staley, you could say at Barclays, is a sort of competitor, but again, in a different region. Clearly, Wells Fargo, JP Morgan, two of the big retail banks in the nation, they will be going head to head. But uh, the tone there, very much one of support. The other interesting thing, I don't know if you guys touched on, but in 8K came out during the call on his pay. Uh, $2.5 million base salary, a bonus up to 300% of that. So total would be $10 million. Also, as $26 million of options uh, he had at BMY Mellon moving over. That's quite a, a high headline number, which I'm sure can still be enough to attract political criticism. That said, this is a lot, lot less uh, than is the base rate for this type of role. Tim Sloan was on $18 million in his final year. Right. The going rate of the big six CEOs is over $20 million for all of the others last year. So, uh, I mean, it is a bit of a pay rise from what he was on at BMY Mellon. So it's somewhere in between. But those headline numbers, anyway, once you're talking $10 million, it's going to get some political attention. I'm so glad you brought this up, because I think looming behind all of this is one person. The person who did an ad hominem attack on yep. Tim Sloan. The person who everybody knows is gunning for bank executives. How does this make it look? for Elizabeth Warren and that pay package. Well, including 26 million of options, which is the sort of price to get him out before you've even started. But that is, Jim, as you guys well know, a lot less than other options. Ruth Porat would have been 90 million of options. Uh, other options, uh, JP Morgan, uh, like Marianne Lake or Gordon Smith, would have been around $40 million of options. So this is low in that sense. And you've got to trade off. Do you want someone with huge banking experience? Don't forget, he's got asset management experience. He's got payments experience. He's got retail bank experience. He's been a CEO of a GCFI, a, a global systemically important financial service. He stood in front of Congress, and he's got that regulatory experience. This appointment had to be approved by the OCC. They clearly approved it. You can't please everyone. Right. You're pleasing the shareholders, by the way, up 4.5%. It's going to get that political attack unless you paid him nothing. But, Will, the one thing that everyone knows about Charlie Scharf, he does not suffer fools gladly. He is not going to let people lecture him about he doesn't know about banking. Yeah. Because how, what, how, what happens when Senator Warren says, listen, you blah, blah, blah? Will he uh, come back or will he just say, yeah, I apologize, sir? Uh, let's wait until see when the next uh, political hearing is. To be fair to him, he was in the one in April uh, right. in, earlier this year, alongside the other eight G Siffies. Uh, I was in the room. He didn't have to say much because he didn't get asked no, very much. Didn't. Him and State Street's Ron O'Hanley uh, were, were kind of out of the, the crossfire. In fact, as that hearing went, the number of, the only things they had to say was, I'm very sorry, uh, Congressperson, I don't do that part of the business. Right. It was kind of amazing, <laughs> yeah, well, the lack it, of yeah. education from the questions. But uh, he, I'm afraid to say, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see when he gets put under the spotlight, how he responds. From people's reports to me, he's seen as a, an excellent operator. He hasn't yet perhaps had to deal with as many clients in the past roles. Right. Payments isn't so much involved with that. Asset management, custodian, you're dealing with institutions, not individual clients. So that's the new skill he's got to prove himself. What's the bigger uh, Warren indicator, uh, UNH or WFC? Oh, no, U UNH. Cause, no, because uh, WFC, she has been saying one of the big problems with Tim Sloan was that Tim Sloan was part of the organization. That devastating... So, uh, that devastating... Sherman and Sterling, 110-page report, just left everybody. Uh, they threw everybody under the bus. So, so he can't be thrown under the bus because he had nothing to do right. with it. He's an outsider. That's right. one that's of the his, key that's things. His principle. Uh, well, he's, no, I mean, that's what she can't hit him with that. A lot of people said they would have liked it to, to, to be a female appointment. It's not. Yeah, I mean, they do have a female. Was 
report was, was floated, but you know, would have been very, very expensive. A lot more so with Google Options. Oh yeah. To buy out, to, to move across. Uh, I don't know what her base salary is at Google, but I imagine it's pretty high as well in terms of the salary. I, I think you know, you've got an outsider, you've got someone that ticks the regulatory box. Right. We'll, we'll see. Oh, we'll see about brilliant. the Just say it. it was a brilliant hire. Oh, it's a fantastic hire. No, no, I'm, I'm not doubting. I'm just saying the Senator Warren. Will, I'm sure with the pay will get get, get agitated. But in terms of the options out there, all, all analysts say to me it was one of the top five shortlists, uh, and yeah. people thought they were dropping well below that as time has passed. Over right, given months. how much time had gone by. Yeah. But the, the idea that you didn't have to move to California very big. I'm sure that was a big big factor he pushed for, and he got.